you know, Flipside doesn't really have that many ways to make moves, so maybe a hero that pairs well with Wisp that can have you seen go the ganks. Mid Ursa versus Invoker? Is, that, is there too many cutting? Bat oh, Batrider. He wants yeah. it bad. They're actually going to TP up the top lane. Nyx Assassin is in a bit of trouble, but now he's going to be saved. A nice two-man stun followed up. Pylai die, first to go down. First blood. NP turns against the three-man, but realizes he neither one of the... Uh... And Invoker also is able to sort of catch up on the XP puppy run here, so... Hit my wall. Oh, nice stomp into the sun strike. No levels of flaming lasso, and you, you go through a drum build, and you just try and like maximize your your basic abilities. Forev almost goes down. Actually, will the last hit comes out from Cedo just barely with that clutch play. Will manage to get out. Nix assassin has gone on at the top lane by the life stealer, but now it's going to be turned around on by Tame My Wild. Push back straight into the tier one tower. A little bit of extra magic damage, and it's enough by this gank, but Puppy's kind of lurking behind Midwan, stalking him, seeing if it, there is a gank that comes in, kick back, he's there, ready to go with a stomp, and saving Midwan's life, sure enough, three-man stomp is good enough, and P's actually going to try and punish here, comes in with the open wounds, Rogers gets stunned up by the cold snap, and MP and Puppy. Currently just trying to slow down the push, but uh, doesn't seem like there's going to be too much commitment. Maybe Fered's going to be caught though. Roger jumps in, Pylai dies, forced to drop the golem just to try and save Fered, but it's not good enough. MP TP'd in, went straight for Van score, Sunstrike knock a land, but it's not needed anyway. Cedoy, half HP, has Ooh. the Sunder ready to go. The stop, oh, TP out is successful. Batrider coming in, they have the Sentry and the Wards, they know he's here. So stopping any potential gank, maybe going to try and turn around. With the dust star ready to go, Forev is going to make a quick stun on the Bat Rider. The stun comes down from the Earth Spirit, but not going to be enough. Even Bam scores in serious trouble. The Amplify damage, Sun Strike on the mark. Forev nails him first with the crush. Tier 1 tower goes down. The roll misses, though, because currently a Life Stealer is sitting inside the range creep. The rest of Flipside pushes forward, hoping to be able to catch Midwan instead, but a stomp slows them down. They may still catch Midwan, though. He's napalmed up. Tame My Wild managed to get the lasso, actually just sitting over him, over the goal of stun. Will be able to get the kill. Pylai Die trying to help out as best as possible, but it looks like Flipside Tactics may just run over these heroes. MP finally pops out of his infested creep, goes for Roger, will manage to nail him. Two for three so far, Team Secret. Right, they they kept, you know, the Bat Rider down for the most part, and eventually he'll get his items, but... Oh, kick back, nice play. Mid one in some serious trouble with the relocate in. Mid one's definitely dead, he knows that. That's why he just turns and tries to get the kill on Roger. Flip side tactics, this could be a good time for them to push down that top lane, knowing that Infest is on cooldown for a bit of time. They managed to get the relocate onto mid lane. Looks like they're trying to make the initiation with a Bat Rider. Bile Die had a nice response though with a Chaotic Offering. MP in the meanwhile does manage to get the Nyx Assassin, who is trying to sneak his way in with a Vendetta while the relocate came in at the same time at mid. A bit of miscommunication is going to cost them dearly as they're still going to lose their wisdom. The initiation comes out. Metamorphosis though, too much for MP to handle. He gets a to, bit too over aggressive once again. Roger getting away. Van score may not be as lucky. Tethers to Cedoy. Forever misses out on the stun. Meanwhile, Nix Assassin gonna be caught once again. Rolled over by the meteor. Flip side have lost two of their cores and are forced to retreat. Forev still looks for more though. Roger's gonna be nailed by a crush and a sun strike. Long roll away, but Forev on hot pursuit. A good relocate out will save Roger. But it may not save our Wisp. Our Spirit's going to try and get in position to be able to allow the Wisp to tether away. They're going to need an instant stun for Ev. He With the Amplify damage, they see where Roger's at, so they just kill Roger instead, and the Wisp gets away. As you can see, the Flipside just been hemorrhaging kills all over the map, and it's really, really hard not to. Chaotic Offering used drop there, as once again, our Nyx Assassin is being uh, scouted out by these counter wards from Secret. If heroes off the map, they could be Roshaning, but it's not for sure. And if they are Roshaning, they'll be done very, very quickly. So dangerous yeah. to push top. So they can still TP potentially, but never mind. They're not even going to try. Instead, it looks like they're just going to try and claim bottom lane. And they'll be six. Oh, I thought they were going to be successful, but never mind. Team My Wilds, quick with the fingers, does manage to blink ahead of Rev's crush. Still, though, that rotation should get them the tier one tower. And this TP probably needs to be canceled. Shot slow. Fortunately, no counter vision there. So it won't be caught. In fact, he's going to make his initiation. Two man stun to lead things off with the fire damage over the top. Flipside Tactics coming in with a very big metamorphosis up Cedoy, but he doesn't actually have the disables anymore to lay out the damage, the relocate. Uh, either the Batrider or the Nyx looking for pickoffs, but it's sort of hard, them just wandering around. They sort of have to uh, define the initiations near towers and have the relocates 
by that, so they have some sort of, uh, fights aren't too chaotic, but... Sinoi, just gonna be blown up. Secrets, like the way that Secret is, uh, currently controlling the area around the Roshan pit, keeping Flipside down to this, uh, low ground area as best as they could. Couldn't actually find a pick-off, though, the Slardar and Lifestealer combination doesn't actually do it. They poke their head into Roshan, they see it's now up, but they know they shouldn't try and do it straight up. Flipside very clearly want to contest Roshan. Don't want to get caught inside the pit. It all comes down to this initiation. Flipside can make their way back into this game if they get the right jump, and they've got it too. Slardar, he's going to be pulled back. A rage wasted. MP's going to try and close the distance with Tame by Wolf. He does get him. BKB popped by Cedoy though, and as he now battles it out with MP, Roger in the back right, being incredibly dismantling, but Invoker just lays waste to the Nyx assassin, almost finishing him off, and Will with a tornado on the right-hand side already. We have Nyx Assassin down as well as Roger. We will manage to finally get a kill for Cedoy, but now he has to man up against MP without the Wisp. As he quickly goes down to the physical damage, ends up dying. Uh, a zoning for it. Yeah, oh, Tame My Wild caught. Eh, it's going to be a rough pick off here. He's got the Shadow Blade though. Maybe uh, Secret don't have any. Oh, never mind. Ooh. Here's the gem. Oh, I thought that was his Yules. Okay, that was mid ones. Yeah, there's no way he's living. <laughs> yeah. Blowing them up in unison, um, because if these fights break up, sort of like they did in this open area, Seeker just jumps uh, heroes, runs away, and just continues to go in and out, in and out, in and out, and Flipside doesn't really have the tools to deal with that. On the hunt for Ev and MP! with this Aegis. They've got two more minutes for it, and the pickoff, I think they just found it. Cedoy in some serious trouble, they don't have a relocate, so they're gonna force the BKB charge out of Cedoy. Oh, mid one might have been easy. Be careful, he actually just jumped in a little bit too far. They blow up mid one. Now MP, he has to battle up against Cedoy. Cedoy stunned up for the moment by the Abyssal Blade, but the rest of Flipside, now that the Rage is down, MP is theirs. Rage is still down when he comes back up. Two seconds, but the kick immediately lands. Can they combo this one up? They defuse a blade him, but now the stun comes in from Fareb on the two. They've amplified up Cedoy as well. He needs some help, but he can't get away from MP, who stays on top of him until a two man stun. Cedoy turns, he takes them both down. Team Secret lose three as well as yeah, they have this nice ward behind them, so they know if they're wrapping around. They just want to hold this high ground area and oh, Mass TP's back. Here comes the initiation. Cedoy almost gets blown up, and he does the relocate not in time. And a full retreat now from Flipside Tactics. Damage just too much to Hammond. Oh, and the golem actually catches Roger and attempt to TP out. Fan score looks like that relocate was actually meant to go top lane, see if they can actually get some damage. Yeah, they just got way too over aggressive. Um, secret there is either coming from behind or they're gonna defend in the lane or they're gonna jump your terror blade. And either way, it's it's really really risky and highly unlikely that you're able to get any buildings off of that. MP pops out, will take shot slow, but it looks like Perez gonna be brought all the way back to the fountain. Oh, Tame my wild. Again, seems to be trying to hold this game together. Flipside are not going to go uh, and blow buybacks, nor should they, as they don't have the metamorphosis anyway. They're going to have to give up at least one lane of rack. Secret are going to try and make it two, though. Yeah, without the metamorphosis, it's sort of hard. Oh, push back and a kick. But they are going to be able to catch Roger, snap him down. The long range combination between Puppy and Midwan, but still, that was enough. And stay on the high ground. Pilot Eye covering their tracks with the upheaval just in case. Even a stomp going down. Vanscore needs some help, but he won't be able to get the tether on time. Two more seconds, but he's already down. And now they popped a disarm, but maybe MP, he's controlled up by the last open. Mid one stops all the damage. BKB finally activated by Cedoy. And down goes MP. Flip side tactics will manage to take out the big carry of Secret. Can they get more? Perret pops forward. Managed to get Roger, stunts him up, covering the supports track. They need a really good stomp here. Puppy's gonna get it with the help of the golems. Midwan comes in from behind. He's already taken off the Terror Blade, and he looks for more two secrets. They don't need MP. They take down Flipside Tactics by themselves. Tame My Wild barely staying alive until Shadow Word finally brings him low. Midwan. Three and Flipside down. The game is like really grim. Almost no way they can defend this, even without the Life Stealer. Jump in, Rev. There's a combination. Wisp gone once again. Taking the mid lane of Rax and mid one's physical damage is actually off the charts with that alacrity. They should be able to make short work of bottom lane. Flipside are going to be left with one last do or die fight. 
And it's still going to be a three versus five with the initiation coming out on Cedoy. Oh, is that a Manta Dodger? Maybe just a little bit short there with a Puppy Ult. Either way, Cedoy doesn't take the damage, but he's being kited around quite excellently. The melee Rax is going down while he's still stuck inside the ice wall, trying to make his way back to the fountain. That'll be Mega's flip side tactics are going to have to fight against the ultimate challenge. And Roger is still going to go down. 60 seconds gone for him. Flipside Tactics now had to fight this one out, not just against Mega Creeps, but a four versus five for the next minute. Yeah, and even if Seeker did back, I'm not sure if Flipside is a lineup to get the 10 versus Megas. They've got the pullback. Slardar is the choice here. They're going to try and beat him to death without Metamorphosis. And it looks like they've got him too, but there is going to be the Nyx Assassin who dies to the Meteor combination from Secret. A buyback from the Slardar. He wants to end this game. And, well, they've got the numbers now for sure. Batrider ties to MP's combo. He's got the MKB as well, so they can make short work of Cedoy, who they've not caught with the Stomp. He chunks down to MP's physical damage, and finally the GG is called. The series being evened out by Secret in Game 2.